The news headlines are full of accusations and judgments and jump to conclusions. Hi, this is Tony Agnesi. Innocent until proven guilty has just been replaced by the court of public opinion on social media. And it seems the more famous a person is, the quicker we are to rush to judge them. We love building people up only to cut them down as soon as something bad happens. Professional athletes are placed on a pedestal, hero worshiped, at least until they throw an interception or miss a foul shot or strike out. Then we look at any reason to pass judgment. We have no facts, only our own bias and uninformed opinions. You know, we do the same thing to family members and friends and coworkers and neighbors. We're quick to pick up on the latest rumor that juicy bit of information or gossip. The problem is we don't know their story. We have no idea what they're going through, what challenges or hardships they face, what pain they feel. As the old saying goes, we haven't walked a mile in their shoes. The man who cut you off uh, on the way to work this morning just received news that he had cancer. The woman in the checkout counter giving the checkout clerk a hard time just found out that her husband is having an affair. The kid that just failed the math test had just had their world turned upside down when they discovered their parents were getting a divorce. How would you react in the same situation? Would you even expect or want the benefit of the doubt if they only knew what I was going through? Instead of the modern day court of public opinion fueled by the secular media, what is the proper Christian response to situations that we are bombarded with? Well, in Matthew we read, judge not, that you not be judged, for the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Again, in Luke, we read, stop judging and you'll not be judged. Stop condemning and you'll not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Example after example in James, Romans, and Ephesians bring home this point. We're not to judge and condemn and gossip and spread nasty rumors. We're to walk a mile in everyone's shoes, get to know the real story, the whole story, the pain behind the behavior. And maybe then we'll have a greater understanding of the situation. We never know the battle that people are fighting. As author Sherry Lee Kenyon reminds us, we would be amazed at the pain and tears a single smile hides. Let us make a major effort not to be one of those people who are quick to rush to judgment. If you enjoy these reflections, you can subscribe or like them here, and uh, we do a new one about twice each week. Thank you for joining me today. God bless you. This is Tony Agnesi.